Welcome to the Top Style Show. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate the support today. I'm super excited, man. This is insane. You know, I have been I have been doing creatine protein, and I'm like, ah, it's not enough. It's not enough. And I I, I go to all the gym people. They're like, oh, you, either you gotta go the TRT, the steroid stuff, or you gotta you know be happy with what you have. I'm like, man. There gotta be something in the middle. I don't need to be a bodybuilder. That's not what I'm doing. You know, I got no intention of being that. But at the same time, I want to look a little better. And you know, I'm I'm just so fortunate to got introduced to Jason Pottinger. He's a football pro. He played football for nine years as a linebacker, and he came up with this concept from Legend Labs, the MBX 200 with backing from UC Davis professors. And I'm like, oh my God, when can I get it? When can I get it, Jason? So, you know, today we, 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 I, I, I'm so honored that Jason is here to give us more insights into that MBX 200, into Legend Labs, all the amazing things that he's doing all the way from Toronto. Jason, welcome, welcome to the show. We really appreciate you being here. You know, tell us a little more about Legend Labs. All right. Well, thanks for having me, Tom. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So Le Legend Labs, where, where do I begin? Uh, well, uh, and stop me if, I, if I'm ranting too much because I've got a lot to say, right? No worries. <laughs> but let's flash back, uh, you know, back to, you know, 2014, 2015, when, when myself and, and uh, some business partners met Dr. Keith Barr, a world-renowned professor, muscle and tendon researcher at the University of California, Davis. Uh, what was he doing? Well, we, you know, we heard about what he was working on behind the scenes there. And what he discovered was actually, it was using a pharmaceutical compound called splitomycin. And what he discovered was a whole new mechanism of building muscle. It's basically a whole new category of muscle science, right? So what, what Dr. Barr was working on was a methodology to block a certain protein molecule from entering your muscles. So there's an evolutionary trigger Dr. Barr calls it a molecular break, where your brain tells your body to stop sending this protein to your muscles, which tells your muscles to stop growing. If you're in a caloric restrictive state, or you're doing a lot of cardiovascular activity, you know, the last thing you need to be doing is building muscle, right? Let's flash back thousands of years ago, right? When, you know, before we had civilization and, and uh, farming and, and an unlimited supply of food in, you know, most countries around the world, your body had to regulate its fat storage, its muscle mass. And so this mechanism was a way to make sure that you didn't build more muscle than you, than you needed with regards to the food supply that you had and what, you know, the activity that you're performing. So we don't really need that anymore. Right. So we, we can afford to, you know, basically sh shut off that molecular break, stop that protein from entering your muscles. So you can do cardiovascular activity. You can, you can limit your calories. So you can cut up, you can tone, and lose fat, burn fat, while also building muscle. And that's very difficult to do. It's actually an athlete's dream. I, well, I think it's everybody's dream, to be honest. You know, typically, you've got to uh, first burn fat, right? You go through a cutting phase. And it's really, you can't build muscle. Well, you're, you know, you're limiting your calories and all that stuff. Uh, so you're burning your fat, and then you build your muscle. Now you can do it all at once. And not only that, but you're, you're removing a lot of those limitations with respect to how much muscle you can build and, and how fast you can build it. And so there is a secondary mechanism. Uh, so I'll keep talking for uh, another minute here. Uh, sure. So what Dr. Barr discovered, so we basically, um, we saw what he was doing. We saw what he was doing with this pharmaceutical compound, splitomycin. We, we got to talking with him and he said to us, he's like, listen, guys, uh, you know, I, I think I can get this to work with natural ingredients. And, and I think you guys could launch a dietary supplement with this with this science. And we love that idea, right? Hey, the pharmaceutical opportunity, it's still there for us. There's an issued patent and that's still on our radar, but we really wanted to develop a dietary supplement that everyone could have access to over the counter. So we pursued that. We conducted studies down at the University of California, Davis with Dr. Barr, and we got fantastic results. We, we narrowed it down to three ingredients after screening 800 ingredients, 800 natural ingredients. We chose the best ones, dialed them in, and Dr. Barr went to work, did a fantastic job uh, with his team there at UC Davis. And we've got results that are through the roof. Uh, we're talking about upwards of a 200% increase in muscle mass gains from this all natural supplement. 
uh, and it's just one one capsule a day. So, yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll stop there because I don't want to rant too much. Oh, <laughs> I've got a lot to say, but it's it's exciting science. It's it's a whole new category of muscle science. Man, so Jason, so what you're saying, it's an entire new category of muscle science developed by the UC Davis professor, Dr. Keith Barr, and you guys are trying to commercialize it and try to bring it to mass market with three ingredients where, you know, it's just like taking a creatine uh, or, or, or a uh, uh, or an uh, BCAA, one of, one of those capsules, you just pop it before the workout and you know you can have 200% gain in muscle mass. Oh, wow. Yes, and so we're talking about potentially, you know, uh, 10 times better than uh, amino acids, 20 times better than creatine with regards to muscle mass gains increase, right? So this is a pretty big deal. Um, now the three ingredients, again, they're, they're plant-based, uh, two of them are, are, uh, gross approved. We're working on the third one. Uh, so basically that that's where we're headed right now is we're just finishing off a study right now yeah. to, so we want to la launch with three gross approved ingredients, right. In our supplement. And we're hoping to hit the market before the end of this year, uh, 2023, okay. that that's the goal. Uh, we've got a lot of the pieces of the puzzle already in place. Uh, we've got a lot of our marketing content created. Uh, we've got inventory. We're, we're basically ready to go. We just need to to wrap up um, uh, this this study here that we're conducting yeah. in Baton Rouge. And uh, for those three ingredients, you know, I, I'm willing to talk about them. Uh, however, if you want to learn, you know, more about those ingredients, uh, anybody in the audience there, you can email me at Jason at LegendLabs.com. That's Labs with a Z. Jason at LegendLabs.com. And you know, keep an eye on us because you're going to start hearing some noise here over the coming months. Uh, about MBX 200, and you know we're going to start uh, educating the, uh, the the masses, if you will, on what we just exactly what we're developing here. Oh man, I'm sure this is you got to go viral on social media. You know we're just coming off the Liver King situation. You know <laughs> eating raw liver, raw testicles. I haven't all tried this. it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's for me. I was about to sign up. I told my producer, like, where can we get raw liver? He's like, we never heard of this stuff, you know. Where can we? So I'm like, maybe call up butcher shops and stuff, and you'll get me raw liver on the show. And then, you know, that uh, the other YouTuber, Derek, uh, he's another bodybuilder. He exposed him that, hey, he's on uh, all kinds of steroids and all kinds of, I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank God I didn't touch the raw liver. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, you know, because people are always looking for that extra edge, right? It's uh, whatever is out there, that's normal. You got to get to the next level, right? So whatever people already see, they already know what creatine can do. They already know what protein, what BCA, some of these items, what they can do, and all the reps and the workouts. Because one of the things, I, I saw one of your presentation, and you mentioned nobody has time to be at the gym six hours a day with all the nutrition and a trainer and a doctor and everybody sitting next next to them and develop that chiseled Hollywood muscle. And nobody has the money to be doing that, right? If, even if you are an incredibly successful, wealthy person, you have to work, right? You have to, do, you have to run your business. You cannot be sitting at the gym and signing checks. It doesn't work that way. Right. So, you know, this is this can revolutionize the supplement industry. What I see it. Right. Because what is the last development is the creatine. I think the BCA and creatine uh, alkaline creating those. That's probably 10 years ago. Right. So for the 10 years, we're just starving to waiting for the next thing. And it might be the MBX 200. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the supplement industry. Uh, the sports uh, fitness supplement industry is starving for new science. Uh, you know, creatine, maybe it was a couple decades ago, right? Yeah, that, that's probably realistically the last really big breakthrough in, in muscle science. And, um, you know, so now they're just, you know, they're recycling the same science over and over again, different brand names, different flavors, yeah. different, different product formats, right? And, um, you know, there, but there's not enough innovation. And so I think we're hitting the market. We're going to hit the market at the right time. You know, we're just coming out the other side of a pandemic. Right. People have put on a little bit of weight during the pandemic. They want to get back in shape. People are starting to go back to the gym. And uh, so I think this is a very opportune time uh, for, you know, for consumers to eventually get our product, but also for our shareholders and investors.
No, this is this is terrific. I want to ask you another question, and this is you know uh, a lot of people will ask this question. Oh, is it is it really a brand new science? Is it really the brand new muscle development, or you guys are repackaging those SARMs that MK six seven seven or all those things, and you guys are rebranding some something? Uh, you know, what do you say to those people? You know, what? Uh, some of them do quite well in business. So, you know, for the ones that do very well, uh, you know, th those are the ones that are really good at marketing, really good at product positioning. And, and I respect that. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're not they're not all bad products. Right. There's a lot of good products out there. You know, I used to take creatine and amino acids and they, they do work. Right. Yeah. But uh, they don't work well enough. Right. And they, they still don't allow you to, uh, you know, cut, cut or burn fat and build muscle at the same time. Uh, creatine oftentimes, you know, makes you retain more water. My body yeah. retains a lot more water on creatine. So, you know, there's kind of some side effects that aren't benefit, aren't as beneficial or desirable. And, uh, our product doesn't do that. You don't retain water and, and, uh, you know, we're, we are, uh, anticipating it and you do get a little energy boost from it as well. Uh, not necessarily, uh, you know, uh, like a, a pre-workout type uh, energy boost, but just, you know, kind of a heightened energy level. Uh, is, is what we're hearing. So yeah, we're, we're really excited to hit the market, but uh, you know, we're almost there. Uh, we've got just a little bit, a little bit longer to go. And uh, you know, let's, uh, we're counting down the months. Cause uh, Jason, this thing, we definitely need to tell the audience because last time I talked to you, I was like, you can only bulk up on creatine, retain water, do the bulking, and then you can do the cut. We stop the creatine and you know you stop the retention of water and then you can do cut i have never seen anything even i think if you uh, other than the steroids the anabolic steroids nothing in the market today can give you the muscle and the cut it can it, it, together it can only do one uh, okay you gain water get big bulk up and then you can do the cut down the road before the show for the bodybuilders, you know, but then you do cut for a couple of days, couple of weeks and get chiseled, get on the stage, right? But there is nothing but that, that works for the bodybuilders because they have to present for that day. For regular people, I don't have to present any day. <laughs> I'm just living my life, right? I don't have to, <laughs> you know, so the water retention and the cut, it, it makes no sense to me. But your product, the MBX 200 does both together absolutely yeah and here's here's another aspect of the science that i have not yet spoken about um because it, it's dual prong right i already spoke about blocking that protein from entering the muscles that's big that that's the the, the core of the science that's what you know dr Barr first discovered and and that's where all of this rooted from however along the way when we were conducting our studies at uc davis uh, there's something in your body called ribosomes. Now, ribosomes are essentially the muscle building factories in your body. They're, they're what take all the building blocks. You know, if you're taking amino acids, there's build, muscle, building, muscle building blocks in amino acids, in creatine, in protein powder. Something needs to take those building blocks and turn them into muscle, right? And that's what ribosomes do. Now, he didn't expect this, right? But what he saw in the science was we were actually making the ribosomes more effective, work harder, work faster. So that, that's what not, not only are you blocking the, the protein molecule from entering your muscles, the molecular break, but you're, you're ramping up your ribosomes. So they're, you know, basically on fire, just, you know, building, taking those building blocks and rapidly building muscle. Mm -hmm. So, wow, Jason, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And, and you said you're making these ingredients cross fed. I'm like, you can feed them whatever. I don't care. As long as it comes in, I'm buying it. You know, I, I want to try it out. You know, that that's that's what I'm saying. Now, is there any, you know, we talked a lot of the pros. You can gain you no know, water retention and you can cut at the same time. The ribosome's overactive. You, so we got all that pros down. Is there any cons, like uh, something that we are missing that, you know, people should be aware of? Oh, okay, that, that part, maybe then I have to, think about something is there anything like that now i don't have anything negative to talk about you know so um yeah i uh so far all i have to do is talk about the positives yeah but uh yeah we'll you know we'll, we'll have to launch our product and uh we'll, we'll see how our consumers react man no no i'm waiting for this this is this is amazing now jason um you are a pro football player tell us a little bit about your background because it's just 
you know, people uh, develop things, scientists, they develop things in the lab and then they get the LeBron James and the, the you know, and the uh, guy I was talking about, Club Shay Shay, you know, Shannon Sharp, you know, they, they get these guys to present their brand, right? The brand ambassador. You happen to be the football player yourself. You are the walking, talking ambassador of the product as well as the shareholder and the founder. You know, tell us a little bit about your background. It's so impressive. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I played nine years in the, in the Canadian Football League. I uh, had a, you know, very, very lucky career. I won several uh, national championships, the Great Cup. Uh, you know, I, I had the privilege of playing against guys like Ricky Williams, uh, you know, the, the uh, Pro Bowl running back from the NFL. Uh, you know, I, I played with uh, Cameron Wake. Pro Bowl defensive end who played for Miami. Uh, you know, I, I played with some amazing football players over my career. I got to travel the country. Uh, you know, our league is, is, you know, half American, half Canadian. So guys are bouncing back and forth between the NFL and, and the CFL all the time. It's a, it's a great league. You know, I highly encourage anyone to, you know, check out, check out the Canadian Football League. You're, you're you know, you're, you're missing out on something if you haven't checked out yet. But uh, yeah, so I, I, you know, I finished up my uh, nine year career back in 2014 in uh, the city of Ottawa. And that's when I met uh, my, my business partners and and we got to work. You know, we basically we understood the supplement industry. We understood the need for, for new science. We understood uh, what, you know, we understand what the target market wants and what they need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what they want is to build a lot more muscle and they want to build it fast and they don't want to be putting on, you know, water weight. They, they, they want to be able to keep that fat off while, while they're building that muscle. So we went out and we scoured the lands looking for the next big thing. And that's when we stumbled across Dr. Barr's discovery there with splitomycin, the pharmaceutical and got to talking with him and, you know, the rest is history from there. So this has been a long time coming. It's not, it, you know, these kinds of, um, uh, you know, technological uh, innovations don't happen overnight, obviously, right? So we're talking about 2014, 2015 to now. That's how long it's taken to get to where we are. We're, we're about to launch the next, essentially the next creatine, only way better. Wow, wow, man, that's so impressive. When you first told me about the Canadian football, I was like, is there a football team in Canada? Is, is, that, is that a thing? Because, you know, we're with the NFL, and, you know, I was, I'm familiar. I, I'm not too much into but the, Wow, the CFL, Canadian Football League, right? And, and you played for them for nine years. This is, yeah. wow, wow. That's, that's uh, Joe, Joe Theismann, uh, Doug Flutie, you know, so many great NFL names, you know, have, have come through our league. And, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's the football world is a small world. They're very interconnected. Yeah. yeah. Wow, man. Wow. I, this is this is so impressive to get it from an athlete. Now, so uh, so you finished your football career and then you you know, this is this is the so interesting. And you and your partner, you guys work a lot with researchers in the universities, in the academic areas, right? So I, I used to work as a research assistant and you know, whenever I I, I hear about anything uh, in the research, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not doing that again." <laughs> I'm not <laughs> you know, I stay you away know, from. <laughs> you know, you yeah. test the same thing a hundred million times, and you, know, you get similar results with a little variation. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and, and but you guys did not stop. You you know kept on searching and kept on finding the researchers in in the molecular biology and the the whole sports science, sports medicine, the muscle building, the muscle science. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is so interesting. Uh, now, you know, tell us a little bit about the search process, right? How you stumbled upon Dr. Keith Barr, like, you know, how you guys kind of, did you guys, you know, rummage through the patents and, and also, also uh, tell the audience about the patent that you guys are uh, getting on MBX 200 from Legend Labs, which will uh, probably make you the most dominant force in the supplement industry. That, you know, you, I, I, I couldn't have forgot that, <laughs> you know, the, the <laughs> patent. We have an issued patent. We have an issued patent on the formula, and that is so huge. Uh, issued U.S. patent. We're pursuing patent coverage all around the world. So we're filing patents in Europe and, you know, uh, Brazil and, and uh, you know, basically parts of Asia, all, all over the world. And this is going to provide us with a significant competitive advantage on a global scale, not just in the U.S., which obviously the U.S. is you know, the largest market when it comes to uh, sports fitness supplements. But there's a lot of up and coming markets around the world that, you know, we want to capture that market share. And, uh, 
you know, we, we want to protect it. So yeah, issued patent in the US. And the beautiful thing is, you know, for those that understand how, you know, patent law works is typically, typically, if you have an issued patent, typically most other uh, countries follow suit with that. So if you have that US issued patent, you can feel quite confident yeah. that you're going to get issued patents in, in some of those other countries, if not all of them. Wow, that is that is so important because um, you know now now you has you have the dominance to do that. So you have the patent pending right now, right? Uh, issued, issued patent. Oh, patent already yeah. issued. It's issued. Oh, we, we've been man. we've been granted the U.S. patent. The U.S. patent is issued. We expedited it, so we went the expedited route. We got that issued. Uh, but yes, you're right. We are still pending in other countries. In other oh, countries, but yeah. U.S. you got the patent yes. already. Yeah, so we've got yeah. the U.S. covered, protected for the next 20 20 ish years. Man, you're a you're a hidden gem, uh, hidden gem in Canada. Yeah, I, I think American venture capitalists are going to be jumping onto this. They'll be yeah. like, "Oh, well, we're a U.S. based company." Just to make it clear, so yeah. I happen to be in Canada, but we are a U.S. based company. You know, um, and and we'll be launching in the U.S. So absolutely, everything about this is is you know, United States, the, the Canada, the Canadian market is important to us, and we will certainly be pursuing the Canadian market. It's a little bit smaller, but it is a great market. But yeah, we will be heavily focused, especially in the beginning, on that U.S. market. On well, the U.S. market, yeah, this mm -hmm. is uh, because supplement industry is huge in in the U.S. and not ju not just U.S. You know, I was talking to my friends uh, in China; they are also getting into that. A lot of them are on creatine now. They are also trying to bulk up because they get mm -hmm. the cut easier than the U.S. counterparts. Their cuts are easier, but they you know they're they're working on the bulking part. So creatine, they love it. You know, if you, in China, yeah. so many in South Korea, so many people are on uh, creatine. So if you can introduce this MBX 200, where they get the best of both worlds. Oh man, it's it's gonna be huge. So, uh, Jason, we talked about your personal background. We talked about the Legend Labs. We talked about the 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 pros and cons of the supplement. You know, we love this thing. Now, what's the expected? Uh, uh, what are you expecting? When are you, when is it coming out to the to the mass market? Uh, so I can't have a specific date, but I, I am anticipating before the end of this year. Um, you know, it could be late summer, it could be early fall, it could be mid fall, it could be before Christmas. We will see where we end up there, but that, that's what we're targeting. So it's not that far off, right? Time flies pretty fast. Yeah. Before we know it, you know, summer will be ending, unfortunately. But for us here in Canada, <laughs> summer can't come soon enough because it's really cold outside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, anticipate, um, like I said earlier, anticipate starting to hear some noise. We are going to start creating some noise, um, you know, so keep an eye out for, for MBX 200 advertisements. And, and again, if you want to learn more about MBX 200, it's, it's ingredients, email me, jason at legendlabs.com with a Z, jason at legendlabs.com. It's www.legendlabs.com, the website. And, uh, you know, essentially just to give you kind of a, a quick uh, skinny on, on the ingredients, you know, there are three plant, plant-based ingredients. We're talking about uh, compounds derived from, uh, dark chocolate from cocoa, from green tea, and from the thunder god vine, uh, which is actually a, a plant native to China. Uh, it's got a lot of medicinal properties in it. Uh, but uh, those those are the three plants that we you know uh, derive our our compounds from for our formula. And uh, again, you can learn more uh, in the coming months here as we start to release more information. <laughs> Oh man, the cocoa, the thunder god. This is this says everything. It's gonna go viral. I, I love it. Now, Jason, the other thing is, you know, you're a startup. You're a founder. You know, you are uh, doing, getting all these patents, marketing. Oh, there are a lot of costs involved. There are a lot of ex expenses. There are a lot of investments you're making. Now, are you guys uh, raising any fund uh, at this point? Absolutely, we are. Yes. You know, like you just said, there's always bills to pay. Uh, you know, we do have our study that's ongoing and, and you know, we, we are raising money to, you know, continue to pay for that. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we're, we need uh, more capital to prepare for launch, right? We've got yeah. a ton of marketing content already created that we've spent a lot of money on already. We've got some inventory. Uh, you know, basically we, you know, we just need to keep fueling that fire and we want to start creating some noise in the coming months. Right. And that creating that noise is going to cost some money. So absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it is something we're actively pursuing. 
Okay, so guys, you know, this is this this could be a great opportunity. I know but there are a lot of Silicon Valley folks that watch the show. You know, we are based in Silicon Valley. That's probably why, uh, you know, there are some uh, some audience there. And, you know, if you guys want to invest, Legend Labs, you can reach out to Jason at legendlabs.com. And, you know, you guys can make investments. You guys can learn more about the MBX 200. You guys can start making some pre-orders, I assume, and, uh, you know, get some more details uh, and, and then, you know, keep an eye out. So, Jason, any last words for your uh, soon-to-be super fans that are going to be the first buyers of MBX 200? Oh, man. Well, uh, I guess, uh, you know, just, just keep an eye out for us. You know, no pre-orders yet, but, you know, definitely keep an eye out for when those pre-orders might begin in, in the relative near future. Uh, you know, I'll just say if, uh, you know, if you're, uh, looking for that next big breakthrough, that, that that next that that edge. I think you mentioned earlier. Everyone's looking for that extra edge, right? Well, this this will provide a a big time edge uh, for anyone that is a fitness enthusiast. You know, anyone that uh, just needs to put on more muscle mass. And actually, there's a whole uh, other target segment that we really haven't spoken about, and that's the anti aging market. And I know we only have so much time, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, if, if you're in your 50s, 60s, you know, uh, yeah. 70s, and, and um, you know, you understand that uh, muscle mass, you know, over the last decade or so, they have conducted so many studies that have directly linked muscle mass to longevity, right? So essentially, the more muscle mass you have, the longer you live, right? And, uh, you know, so it's really important for, you know, people as they start aging to find a way to maintain that muscle mass. And if you can do it in a natural way with a natural plant plant-based supplement uh you know there's no better way to do it oh man wow anti-aging yeah this is huge i think you know you just uh talked about something that's going to revolutionize the supplement industry and 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 beyond so jason we're really honored to have you please keep us updated whenever you have the lunch coming up come over back on the show you know we want to see you on the studio you know i want to pop some pills on the show and show people some muscle gains you know thank you thank you jason no Re <laughs> really appreciate it thanks for having me on the show tom Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Please do subscribe and check out uh, Jason at legendlabs.com, legendlabs.com for, uh, you know, uh, get some more information and to get that chiseled body with muscle mass. That's what I'm talking about. And please subscribe. Thank you.